Hi, it's John from Android Addicts, and today we're going to be looking at the pregnancy event on The Sims Freeplay. Now, to get this far, you need to have already completed the Lovers in the Air quest and the Two and a Half Sims quest, which you can see in a link in the top right corner of the screen. So when you complete those, you then get the option to have a baby. Now, you can just have a baby and get one in a day, but we're going to run through the whole pregnancy, which is a nine day event, and I'll quickly show you exactly what you need to do to complete it. Okay, once you've found the maternity store in the top right of the town map, click to build it and you'll probably see that you actually need more sims before you can actually build the store. So here we can see we need six sims in our town. So just click on a empty lot somewhere. I've only got four sims at the moment. And I'm just gonna build an empty lot You can't build more than one at a time. So I'm just going to click on here and finish it off. Click in to add a new sim. Asher can be put into here. We're not going to be too worried about the fact he hasn't got a house. Go okay, back to the town map. And then we're just going to add another empty lot here. And add one more sim. So now we have a total of six sims in our town. Okay, so now we should be able to build the maternity store. We're just going to click on there. Takes eight hours to build, but for the video here, I'm just gonna skip it with my life points. And there we are. So now this unlocks the bumpy ride quest. This basically lets you have a little bump in your tummy when you're pregnant, and it's a bit more realistic than just a baby appearing from the sky. So the first quest we need to do here is have a doctor explain pregnancies to us. Okay, so we're going to go back to Hazel, our sim, and we're going to get her to click on the phone and then call the doctor. Now when the doctor arrives, you need to click on the doctor and get her to explain the pregnancy results. This only takes 30 seconds. You can see here I've got unlimited simoleons and life points. Now this is a hacked version of the Sims replay which just means I can skip through the tasks and events quickly just so that the video doesn't last you know, several days in total. If you're interested in actually getting the hack version then I've put a link in the top right. So there we are, the doctor has explained the pregnancy and now we need to talk about it with another sim. So I'm going to click on Matthew Brown here, my husband, and I'm going to talk about the pregnancy. Okay, once that's done, next task is to purchase a maternity outfit. So to do this we need to go to the town map, head on over to the maternity store, I'm going to click on it here, and then you can just have a look at what is available. Currently we've only got 500 maternity tokens, so the only one we can actually purchase is the first item here, which is the black and grey outfit. These are the other uh, items you can purchase, but you do need more maternity tokens first. So we'll just go ahead and purchase the standard one here. And that is now in our wardrobe. And it completes the task. Okay, now it's time to place an empty crib. Now we already have one in the house, so what we're going to do is just head back to our house and this task should be completed automatically. And there we go, the empty crib 
is already in the bedroom. Now it's time to start the pregnancy event. So to do this you tap on the crib and then click to start the pregnancy event. So as you can see here we're going to start the nine day event. Ask you to select which sim you want to use, obviously we're going to use Hazel here, and the journey begins. Now this is a hard event to actually complete, even though you have nine days, you're really going to have to be working on it constantly. So you'll see as we go through here how long each uh, task takes in the event, and considering you only have a day for each set of goals, you really need to actually uh, be constantly playing to sort of grind away at this. So the first few tasks are just showing you where the actual pregnancy event details are and how to view your goals. So just click through those. Mm. See it's in the top left corner of the screen and we can see here our daily goals. So there's quite a few each day. So the first one we've got here is to read the super baby foods from a bookshelf. Still just asking a few more things to go through before we actually start. So I'm going to click back on here. You can see some support tasks here. Those give you additional maternity tokens if you can complete those as well. You can see here on the right hand side the baby bonus. So if you complete all the daily goals and the support tasks, the baby that gets born earns more XP, completes actions faster. Okay, now it's time to actually get on and complete the event. So going to our daily goals again. Let's start by reading the book from the bookshelf. And here we have consider simulation designs for the baby shower on a couch. So just click on the couch in the corner here and consider those designs. That one takes 3 hours and 15 minutes. I'm going to skip through this. And our next goal here is to discuss ways to ease morning sickness with another sim. So as Matthew's sat here, we might as well discuss it with him. This one takes 2 hours and 15 minutes. Okay, next up, let's rest on the couch and take a well-deserved nap. The nap takes 4 hours and 15 minutes. Right, next up we're going to call some friends on the phone and share the pregnancy news. This takes one hour and 15 minutes to complete. Right, once that's done, your last task of the day is to use the phone to call a doctor and have them check on your baby's progress. Hazel's just uh, got a bit of morning sickness here, so I'll wait for her to finish. Yep, she's really not feeling too great, is she? Anyway, onwards and upwards. I think she's finished. Yes, she has. Okay, so select the phone here and then call the doctor. Now, when the doctor arrives, 
if you click on the doctor, you can see here you have two options to have a checkup or have a thorough checkup, which costs life points. The life point checkup gives you additional maternity tokens, but obviously, if you don't have unlimited life points like I do, then you're probably just going to pay the 5,000 odd simoleons to have a standard checkup. That one takes 6 hours and 15 minutes. Okay, after that's complete, you'll have done all your goals for the day. So you can relax a bit. And you can pick up your maternity tokens here, we've got 620. Now you can skip to the next day, which is what we're going to do so we can continue the video. So let's just do that. Click on skip and purchase. Okay. So first thing today is to research pregnancy supplements on a computer. Now we haven't got a computer in this house, so I'm just going to go into the home store and find one. Just going to pick the cheapest one here. And let's just pop it straight in front of the TV there. Okay, make sure your pregnant sim is selected. And then get them to research pregnancy supplements. It only takes 27 seconds this one, so it won't take too long. But I'm just gonna skip past it anyway, as Hazel is quite a distance away from the computer. Right. So, click back on your pregnancy event, and next up, we're going to relax on the couch and consider baby names. That takes 3 hours and 15 minutes. Okay, next up we're going to get creative on a computer. One takes a couple of hours to complete. After that's done, you want to research baby moons on the computer. Again, this is another two hour task. Okay, and next you're going to want to call the yoga instructor for an appointment. Okay, so we're going to purchase this appointment. It costs just over 6,000 simoleons. Perform your yoga moves. We'll just go through it now, just so you can see what it looks like. It doesn't last very long. And we're complete. Okay, last up today, we're going to call a similar phone and discuss ways of easing morning sickness. That takes just over four hours. Okay, that completes the day two of tasks and goals, and we should now have just over 1300 maternity tokens. So let's skip to the next day, and we're going to go and relax in the lake, or by the lake in the park. So click on the town map, click
click to go to the park. Click on the sim tracker and bring your sim over. And then just click anywhere in the park on the lake and tell her to walk around. This takes just under two hours to complete. Okay, once that's done, it's time to go and throw up in the toilet. Not a very pleasant task, but send your sim home. And once they're back, go and click on your toilet and proceed with morning sickness, which takes 4 hours and 15 minutes. Okay, now it's time to watch some home birthing movies on TV. That takes 4 hours and 15 minutes. And once that's done, it's time to have another appointment with your doctor. It takes 6 hours and 15 minutes and costs just over 5,000 simoleons. Right, once that's done, it's time to check the fridge and make sure it's baby proof. So go across into your kitchen, click on the fridge, make sure you have the right sim selected again. And this takes 2 hours and 15 minutes. Should love you up to level 9 and complete the task. Okay, last but not least, you're going to gorge on some hot dogs from the fridge. 6 hours and 15 minutes, which is quite a long time really. Still, once that's done, that is your goal completed for day 3. Another 900 odd maternity tokens, and we're going to just skip to the next day now. So day four, first thing to do is to eat some mini burgers from the fridge. And you'll see here we've now gone on to trimester two. So before you do your next goal, if you click on your sim here, you'll see something special happen. And there we are, she's finally got her little baby bump. And you can see she's wearing the maternity clothes that we bought earlier. And she's now waddling slightly due to her bump. Anyway, it's time to eat mini burgers from the fridge, which takes 2 hours and 15 minutes. As you can see, things take a bit longer now that you're pregnant. But luckily we can skip forward. So once you've eaten those hot dogs or mini burgers, it's time to have another appointment with your yoga instructor. So call them over and start your yoga session. 6,000 simoleons and 30 seconds of your time. Eeny clang! Uh, teach? Nepsy irk.
Okay, once that's complete, it's time to go back to the fridge and eat from a mixing bowl. What I'm going to do here is just set my unemployed sim here to have a job. And then that will stop him being selected constantly every time I complete an action with Hazel. So let's send him off to work out of the house. And now we can tell Hazel to eat from the mixing bowl. That's two hours and 15 minutes. Okay, next up it's time to take a oh. selfie in the bathroom oh. from a sink. Bit of a strange place to do it from, but send your sim into the bathroom. Click on the sink and click take selfie. That's three hours and 15 minutes of selfie taking. Okay, once you've finished taking selfies, your next goal is to ask a sim for a shoulder massage. Now I've just sent my husband out to work, so I'm going to call over a free sim here to help me out. This is Jessica. Hopefully she won't mind giving me a shoulder massage. The whole process takes 4 hours and 15 minutes. Uh, hmm. Are we gonna brought the gloss? Derp. <sighs> okay, once that's done, your last task is to practice heating baby oh. bottles on a stove. <laughs> So click onto your cooker here and practice heating the bottles. It takes just over one hour to complete. Okay, once that's complete, that is day four's goals sorted. So that's another 930 maternity tokens. I'm gonna to skip now to day five. First task of the day is to discuss nursery themes with another sim. So just bring someone in and click on them to discuss nursery ideas. Hopefully this guy has some good ideas. But just over four hours later, and your task will be complete. So next up, time to have another appointment with your doctor. So click onto the phone and call the doctor. As if by magic she appears and takes 5,000 of your simoleons and 6 hours and 15 minutes of your time. Okay, after all that, it's time to relax in a bath. Now, we don't have a bath yet, so what I'm going to do is just go into the home store and find a nice bath. Okay, select your sim and tell them to relax their aching back in the bath. So, five and a half hours later, you've finished your bath. And it's time to phone a friend and discuss nursery mm, themes. Dead. So click on the phone. 
and collect and discuss nursery themes, which takes 2 hours and 15 minutes. Vashina! Ah, boss! Nars! Smeed! Ha ha! Ritzel! Okay, next up it's time to research some nursery ideas from a computer. So select your computer, research nursery ideas, which takes 3 hours and 50 minutes. Right, last task of day 5 is to ask another sim for a back massage. So again, call in one of your sims. I'm hoping my husband doesn't mind that I've got another guy giving him a back massage, but uh, he's at work so he won't know. And that takes 2 hours and 15 minutes. Oh! Anufi Kombi Shana? Lish! Okay, that is all of day five's goals completed. So we get another thousand maternity tokens. I'm going to skip now to day six. First up, we need to discuss a pregnancy with another sim. So as Asher is sat here, let's do it with him. This will take you just over four hours to complete. You got she's it. And once that's done, you need to use a phone to call your yoga instructor for the day. So I'm going to just send Asha home here and get Hazel to click on the phone and call the yoga instructor. So again, it's just another 30 second yoga session. I'm just going to skip it because I can. And next up, we're going to sit on a couch and practice feeding a dummy baby. Now this is probably the most sinister of uh, tasks or goals in this pregnancy event. As you'll soon see, you sit on the bed, sit on the sofa, sorry, and you're feeding a, well, a dummy baby, which is a bit, uh, a bit freaky if you ask me, but still. Okay, 4 hours and 15 minutes of practicing later and you'll complete the goal. So next up you need to put on some new wallpaper in the nursery. So we're going to use the bedroom here as the nursery. So click into the home store. Select walls and then we're going to select a lovely wallpaper to go into the bedroom. This nice pink one will do. Okay, after you've done that, you then need to discuss colours for the baby with a sim. So we're going to bring another sim back in. And then we're going to select Hazel. Tell her discuss baby colours with Jessica. That takes four hours and fifteen minutes. And then we're going to put down some new flooring in the nursery. So go back into the home store, click on floors. It's actually in the top right here. And I think we're going to put down this lovely heart tiled flooring. Okay, once that's done, it's time to eat some cupcakes from the fridge. That takes two hours and 15 minutes. Oh, 
Oh. Once that's done, your next goal is to set up a nightlight in the nursery. So you can find this in the home store. If you click on to the infant section, you'll see the little sort of gnome nightlight here. Just place it down somewhere and that will complete the goal. That costs two life points. And your last task of the day is to discuss with a friend belly casts. Now that takes two hours and 15 minutes and once complete, that is all your goals for the day. Two hours and fifteen in total for that task, and we can now go back into the pregnancy event, pick up our twelve hundred maternity tokens, and then we can skip to day seven. We've now entered trimester three, so the baby bump is about to get slightly bigger. Okay, so our first daily goal of day number seven is to phone some friends and see who's coming to the baby shower. So this is the check baby shower guests on the left hand side here. Only takes 30 seconds, but we're going to skip past it anyway. And after that, we're going to use our phone to call the doctor and check on our baby's progress. So call over the doctor and then purchase your checkup, 6 hours and 15 minutes and 5,302 simoleons. Okay, I think the baby's fine so we're going to skip past this and that completes that goal. And next up, we're going to write in the baby journal at the dining table. Luckily, Hazel's already on her way over there, so just click on the table and then we'll write the baby journal. That takes four hours and 15 minutes. Okay, after that, we're going to ask another sim for some baby advice. So as Jessica was sat here, we're going to ask her. That takes two hours and fifteen minutes. Easty, Mooby, Derpala lose. Ebno, ah. Once that's complete, it's time to use the phone and discuss balloons for the baby shower. So click on the phone here and discuss yes. balloons. That takes six hours and 15 minutes. Vashina! Funab! Me! Membel Z-Pops! A Florence or Whip Tea! Right, once that's done, your next goal and last one of the day is to show the ultrasound images of the baby to a sim. So I'm going to click on Jessica here and show her my ultrasound images. Eeny clang! Oh, see me cobblet! <laughs> it looks like Jessica's happy for me. Okay, that's two hours and fifteen minutes. And that is day seven complete. Right, on to day eight, and we're going to discuss baby themes with another sim. That takes four hours and 15 minutes. Once that's done, you'll level up to level 10. And it's time to move on to the next goal. So we're going to ask another sim if they can help out at the baby shower. 
I think Jessica deserves to be asked, so let's ask her, and it will take two hours and fifteen minutes. Ipni Dua, Badaku da Bang. Gaz. Ipni Nerd Burz. Oh. Okay, now we're going to ask a, another sim to photograph the belly. Let's ask Jessica as she sat in our house. Now this takes 6 hours and 15 minutes, which is quite a long time. So let's hope the camera's batteries last a long time, and also that she's got a big enough memory card. Okay, once you've had your photos taken, it's time to ponder about food for the baby shower on a couch. So just snap the chair and ponder about baby food. It takes four hours and 15 minutes. Right, now it's time to use the computer to email questions about your pregnancy. That takes two hours. After that, it's time for your last event of the day, and that is to phone your instructor on the phone and have a yoga session. That costs 6,000 simoleons and takes 30 seconds. Okay, that concludes day eight. So we're going to skip over to day nine and we're going to send five sims to your house. Now we've only got two in here. Mm. Let's call over the others and we've now got five sims in the house, which completes the task. Okay, now we're going to call the doctor and get her to check on our baby's progress. This takes 6,015 and costs 5,300 smokings. Gora Brip, Vlado Bledazine, Berkey Nerve, Vesadong, Kicksaduba! Right, once that is done, it's time to talk to another sim and see if they can help bake a baby cake. Ooh. Mm. Let's ask Erin here. Three hours and fifteen minutes to help with the cake. <laughs> I think she said yes for that. So after you've done that goal, it's time to hug one of the guests at the baby shower. It's only five minutes. After that completes, accept a gift from another sim at the baby shower. So I think Asher here has taken a bit of a fancy tasel and he's going to give her a gift. Not sure Hazel's husband would be too happy, but he's still at work, so he won't find out. That takes just over four hours. And now it's time to show off your baby bump to another sim. Let's show it off to Asher here. It takes one hour and 15 minutes. Udaka with web. Okay, that completes all your goals over the nine days and gives you 2,200 maternity tokens. So 
now we're going to go through the support tasks, which is to have four sims phone up for advice on the pregnancy. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using Hazel to go through this four times phoning the nurse, which takes two and a half hours each time. You can see each time I complete it, it goes, it adds another one onto the completed task. But my advice here is actually to get four phones and then have four separate sims to complete the task a lot quicker. Okay, the next important task is to have three sims plan a baby budget on a dining table. So we're going to bring back a couple of sims and get them all to sit around the table. So that's 7 hours and 45 minutes, which is a really long time really. My only advice is to just do it as early in the morning as you can or maybe just before you go to bed. My one sim here, Vanessa, couldn't get to the chair, so I'll just move those magazines out of the way. So yes, seven hours and 45 minutes for this one. I'll just skip through this, though. So we planned the baby budget. Okay, and now we need to sit on a cat, sit on a couch, sorry, and then sew five items of baby clothing. Each time it's going to take four hours and fifteen minutes. So we've got three Sims here who can start. As you can see, we need actual five items to actually complete the event. So what I'm doing here hmm. is I'm bringing over a couple more sims. I'm going to put down another couch and we're going to have them join in and sew some clothes. Hmm. 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 Right, let's skip through this as it's 4 hours and 15 minutes. That completes the task. Now it's time to sit on a couch and knit three woolies for the baby. So we only need three sims for this, but we need eight hours to complete it. So we'll let these three start their knitting here. But as we haven't got eight hours to wait, I'm just going to skip through. Okay. Now it's time to have four sims plan a girls' night in. This takes three hours and 35 minutes on the phone. Okay, once that's done, it's time to have two sims share parenting advice with another sim. It takes four hours and 35 minutes, so just get a couple of your sims to start talking to each other about it. And then skip past it. Okay, it's time to like Hazel's Simtress post on a computer six times. I'm going to put my computer back down. It takes three hours each time. So what I'm going to do is buy some more computers and have the other Sims help and join in. And as we need six of these, 
We're just going to do a couple more. You could, of course, put a few more computers down. But luckily I can skip through this, so I don't need to worry too much. Okay, once that's done... So it's now saying that we need to like the Simtress post six times again. Okay, we've now leveled up to level 11. And now it's time to have three sims generate nursery ideas at a dining table. Just click on the table and generate ideas. That takes six hours and 15 minutes. Now it's time to start preparing baby formula on a stove five times. Now this takes two hours each time, so what I'd recommend you do is you place multiple stoves and get multiple sims to perform the task. Okay, two hours and fifteen later, you should complete that task. And it's now time to get five sims a snack ready for the morning. Morning sickness, that is. That takes sixteen hours and forty minutes. Again, we need multiple sims to do this, so we're going to build a few fridges outside just to help us along the way. Speed up Matthew's work here and get him to join in too. Looks a bit odd having all these fridges in the garden, but uh, it will just speed things up so much better. Okay, once you've had your morning sickness snack, it's time to have four sims, phone a nurse for pregnancy advice and tips. Now this is where I realised I needed more than one phone on the wall, as it was getting a bit annoying having to keep skipping using one sim. So go to the electronics section, place down a few extra phones where you can. Okay, once you have a few phones down, get your sims to fend the nurse. That takes two hours, 35 minutes. And once that task is complete, it's time to have three sims practice calming a tired sim 
on her phone. So, back onto the phone again. 7 hours and 15 minutes. Next is have four sims have a girls' night in via the phone. Three hours and 35 minutes. Get the boys involved as well, they don't mind. Once you've planned your girls' night in, it's time to move on to the next goal. Okay, like Hazel Simtress post on a computer six times. It takes three hours each time. We've only got four computers at the moment, so I'm just going to go and buy a couple more. Okay, the next support task is to have four sims plan a baby budget on a dining table. Seven hours and 45 minutes. And your baby budget. That will complete the task. Uh, and now it's time to sit on the couch and sew five clothes for the baby. Uh, We're currently halfway through the additional tasks here. As you can see, it's quite a grind to actually uh, get this done. Right, once the clothes have been sewn, it's time to have four sims wash Hazel's dishes. This takes 10 hours and 15 minutes. You can't use the bathroom sink, sadly. So, guess what? Yep, it's time to put some sinks down in the garden here. So you get three more sims here washing the dishes. Right, next up we need to like Hazel Simtress post six times on a computer. 
I think they started running out of ideas around this time because a lot of the tasks actually repeat themselves, which isn't much fun really. I forgot here that I had the other uh, computer at the back of the house, so hence why I've just put another one down there. But it's nice to have them all on a row anyway, isn't it? So anyway, like the Simtress post, that takes three hours. As you can see here, it's taking Hazel a bit of a while to get to her computer. Once that task is complete, go back into your pregnancy event. And it's now time for three sims to generate nursery ideas at a dining table. So again, like I said, they seem to run out of ideas of different things to do, so they're repeating the same tasks again and again, which is quite monotonous and boring really, but uh, so it is. We can't really do much about it. Now this one only needed three sims, but I've got four around the table anyway. So next up, it's time to practice preparing baby formula on a stove five times. So you know the drill. Click on the stove. This plant keeps getting in the way. Okay, practice preparing a formula. Okay, now it's time to go back to your computer and like Hazel's Simtress post again. This takes another three hours. Right, once that's done, it's time to have four sims plan a baby budget at the dining table. This takes seven hours and 45 minutes.
Okay, now it's time to sit on the couch and save five items for the baby. That takes four hours and 15 minutes. We only need to sit five sims here, so we're going to give Hazel a bit of a rest. So, four hours and 15 minutes later. The clothes have been sewn. Okay, now it's time to have five sims snack for morning sickness from a fridge. 16 hours and 40 minutes. This is why you really need to have multiple fridges because otherwise you'd be taking days to actually complete this task alone. Okay, once that is complete, go into your pregnancy event, and the next task will be to have four sims play a girls' night in via the phone. So go back to your phone, plan the girls' night in, three hours, 35 minutes, and just ensure you've got four sims doing it at the same time. Okay, once that is done, it's time to have two sims share parent parenting advice with another sim. So we're 81% through the support tasks, so not too much longer to go, but long enough that it will still take quite a bit of time. Four hours and 35 minutes and that task is complete. Now it's time to have four sims phone a nurse for pregnancy advice and tips. So back on the phone and phone the nurse. Two hours and 35 minutes. Right, once that task is complete, you should be 88% complete, and now it's time to head back onto the computer and like Hazel Simpress post. Another three hours and 15 minutes or so of your life on the computer. Now the quality of the item you're using does actually decrease the time it takes to complete tasks. So the better the computer is, or the better the phone, or the cooker, the quicker the task will be completed. But on average, on this task for example, it's around just over three hours. Okay, head over to the dining table and plan the baby budget again. Seven hours and 45 minutes. up to level 13. 
completes the task. Okay, now it's time to practice preparing baby formula on the stove again. This one takes a couple of hours. Just going to move these trees out of the way as they are getting in the way quite a lot. Right, once you've completed that task, you should be 97% complete and it's time to head back over to the computers and like Hazel Simpress post six more times. Okay, around three hours later, you should all be complete. And believe it or not, that completes all the goals in the support task. So that gives you the bonus maternity tokens. And it also unlocks the pregnancy on the cribs. That gives you another 9,000 tokens there and it unlocks the baby bonus. <laughs> Click on your sim and they should have a slightly bigger tummy. I'm going to send Hazel and Matthew into the bedroom here, or into the nursery I should say, just to prepare them for their new child who's coming. Okay, so make sure Hazel is selected or whatever your sim is called and click have baby. It only takes 12 seconds. Rather quick bear. And once that's done, you'll be sent over to the creator baby screen. So here we can see the different hairstyles currently available. And the different eye colours. That's a rather scary one. I think I'll go for these uh, bluey green ones here. And these are the different outfits available. Just going to scroll through each one and select them so you can see what it looks like.
and I think I'm going to select one of these. My baby here. I think the pink one's quite nice. Has it as a girl, with Sarah Brown. So let's confirm this and add Sarah into the town. That completes the task. And the two and a half Sims quest is now done. This unlocks the Ocean View Estate quest, which we're just going to ignore for the purpose of this video. Let's go and have a look at Sarah here. She looks very happy and content in her new home. I'd certainly hope so after all the hard work we've put in to get her. So let's bring in her mum, Hazel. And I'll just go through the different interactions so you can see Hazel interacting with Sarah. Okay, so now we've completed that, we can now allow other sims to have babies quite easily. You just simply buy them a cot or a crib, pop it into their house, Now obviously the males can't go through the pregnancy event, but you can just purchase a baby to go into your town. 
That means single parents can have their own babies, which is nice. Baby Ian Burs into the town. And that's how easy it is. Right, there we are. I hope you found the video useful. Like I said, it's a bit of a hard slog to actually get all these tasks, goals, and events completed. But if you do manage to do it, congratulations. I don't think I would have been able to keep up with it. There's just too many things to actually do. Be sure to leave me any comments or questions you have down below. Let me know what your baby's called when he or she is born, as I'm always interested to hear the different names that you guys give them. And I will see you again in the next Sims video, hopefully very soon.